Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to look at how to find the slope of uh, a function y equals 4 over x at a point p with the coordinates negative 5 comma negative 4 fifths. And then we're going to find the equation of the tangent line at p. I just want to point out that part a here where it asks you to find the slope of y equals 4 over x is really asking you to find the slope of the tangent line. That's implied. So by the time we finish part A, we'll know the slope of the tangent line and we'll have a point on the tangent line so we'll be able to write the equation of the tangent line. So let's work part A. You might know other ways of finding the slope of the tangent line at this point. It just depends on where you are in the study of calculus. But we're going to go with the definition of the slope as the limit of the difference quotient. So the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. To evaluate the limit of a difference quotient, we need to find f of x plus h, and then the difference, and then the quotient, and then take the limit. So there are several steps in the process which I'm going to break down for you. First, we're going to find f of x plus h by plugging into y equals 4 over x. So imagine that instead of saying y, it said f of x equals 4 over x. We want to plug the expression x plus h into the function. So just imagine that instead of an x that we have um, a box there that we're plugging into instead of an x so you don't let the two different x's confuse you. So f of x plus h will be 4 over x plus h. Now we already knew that f of x is 4 over x. So the difference f of x plus h minus f of x is 4 over x plus h minus 4 over x. That's the numerator of the difference quotient. We're going to divide that by h and take the limit. So we have the limit as h goes to 0 of 4 over x plus h minus 4 over x all divided by h. Now when you're simplifying a difference quotient and it's in the form of a complex fraction, usually what we want to do is to multiply both the numerator and denominator by whatever is in the little denominators. And if we do that, we're really just multiplying by 1, and we're able to cancel out the, the little fractions that are inside of the larger fraction. So this is going to be the limit as h goes to 0 of, we have 4x x plus h over x plus h minus 4x x plus h over x as I've distributed to each term. And then in the denominator, we just have h times x times x plus h. Don't multiply that out yet because it might be that we don't need to. All right, so let's go ahead and simplify. And we have x plus h divided by x plus h leaves 1. x divided by x leaves 1. And so we see why we did what we did. The fractions cancel out. So we're left with limit as h goes to 0 of we have 4x minus 4 times x plus h all over h times x times x plus h. Distributing the negative 4 in the numerator, we're going to have the limit as h goes to 0 of 4x minus 4x minus 4h all over h times x times x plus h. 4x minus 4x leaves 0. And then we can divide the factor of h here with the factor of h in the numerator. So that's going to leave us with the limit as h goes to 0 of negative 4 over x times x plus h. I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning, but the reason we couldn't plug in 0 to begin with, plugged in 0 for h, we would have gotten a 0 in the denominator, which would have been undefined. So basically what you want to do when you're finding your limit is to simplify it algebraically till you can get to a point, if possible, where you can plug in the 0. And we've reached that point. So this is going to be the limit. I'm sorry, we don't need to write limit anymore. So this is just going to be whatever we get when we plug in 0. Negative 4 over x times x plus 0. So that's negative 4 over x squared. All right, so what is that? 
What is this limit of the difference quotient? Well, this is by definition the first derivative of f. The derivative of f or this is a formula for the slope of the tangent line. So we just found that f prime of x, which is just a formula for the slope of our tangent line, is negative 4 over x squared. Now let's go back to the top. Remember, we're asked to find the slope at the point where x is negative 5. So this is a formula that depends only on x. So all we need to do is plug in negative 5 to our derivative. We have negative 4 over negative 5 squared, which is negative 4 25ths. That's the slope of our tangent line. The slope of y equals 4 over x at the point p is negative 4 over 25. So we've answered part a. Now in part b it says to find the equation of the tangent line at that point. The point, remember, was negative 5 comma negative 4 fifths. So here we have the slope m and we know that x is negative 5 and y is negative 4 fifths. So if we want to do part b, find the equation of the tangent line at that point. I know if you look in my math lab, they use the formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, which is the point slope form of the line. And you can use this as your x1 and y1, and that works great. But I prefer to use a different technique where we just write down y equals mx plus b. We know that, uh, we know what m is. We just need to find b. And we know that this equation is true for any point on the line, and we have one of those. So we're going to plug in the y being negative 4 fifths. We're going to plug in m being negative 4 20 fifths, x being negative 5, and solve for b. Negative 5 goes into 25 negative 5 times, making this a positive 4 fifths. If I subtract 4 fifths from both sides, we're going to get negative 8 fifths equals b. So the equation of our tangent line is y equals negative 4 20 fifths x minus 8 fifths. And that's the answer to part b. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to like it. That helps other students to find the video.